All right, hello and welcome back to DCG Love. Look at this. I have 36 collector booster sample packs. Here, these are the sample packs that you get from the Commander Precons. I bought a bunch of those. So I have 36 packs here that I will be opening and we will see what the average value is that you can expect from one of these sample packs. I will have a total value in the corner, in the right side, and I will have an average value divided by 36 packs, obviously, as we go along and then we will see what the average value is that one of these sample packs will give you. There's just an add card, a rare ghost vacuum this time and an uncommon here. I only count cards above a dollar and only rare semifics. I don't think most uncommons are worth anything. So I'll only care about the rare card and ghost vacuum is probably worth nothing. And you will see the prices on the right side here with the card displayed, etc. So let's see how far we can go here. These are a little bit hard to open. And we've got Doomsday Excruciator. So you can get any um, cool version of a card that you can get from Collector Booster Packs, except for obviously the anime cards, the Fractured Foiling. I don't think you can get one of these here. But uh, these full art, panor paranormal borders or extended art or whatever, um, that's what you can get from these sample packs. We got here Undead Sprinter, another reflection showcase. Uh, also a very cheap one though in foil and always an uncommon in the end here. No arena codes, no nothing. Let's see. These are a little bit hard to open without damaging the card. I hope I'm not bending them too much. Peer past the veil, not worth nothing either. All right, I hope we <laughs> we got at least a dollar here. I don't think even any of these cards are above a dollar. All right, uh, let's go here and hope we can pull at least one valuable card. Ghostly Dancer. Uh, come on, I want to open one valuable card so I can tell you guys about the giveaway. Obviously we need 10 bucks, but I think 10 bucks is gonna take a long time here. Uh, I think I bended those here a little bit. Cursed Recording, Shoulder Stumper. I think I have to open them like this here. Is there a way to open them a little bit more careful? What I got here? Oh, Rent, Maw, Creaking, Nest. And this is the same card that you can get from the Commander Precon, so I don't think that's worth anything either. Come on. We got Central Elevator, Promising Stairs, a rare borderless room, also worth nothing. I wonder if Wizards put the cheap rares in here on purpose. I don't know if they know which rares are gonna end up being cheap or not, but we didn't really pull anything here. Come on. Entity Tracker. Damn. One bust pack after another. We did get $40 from Bloomboro with these precon packs. Marina Vendrels Grimoire. But it doesn't seem like we got any value yet. So you need to quite be lucky to pull anything, it seems. Come on. Omniverse Flight Trap. Oh man. <laughs> we really pull all the bull grass here. Alright, I'll tell you about the giveaway anyway. There we go, Marvin. Murderous Mimic in the double exposure. That's above a dollar. And it doesn't mean we got a coin, but if we manage to get above 10 bucks here at least, you will get one coin from this video. And you can claim that coin by leaving a comment under this video. You have time until the next video is uploaded. Pier Pasta Veil again. Ugh. These Pier Pasta Veils. Um, and the more coins you have, the higher the chance of winning something in the giveaway. So claim as many coins as possible. Head Shredder. There we go. A few bucks as well for this one. And I will be giving away a collector booster box for Dust One. I'll show you guys in a second and um, a play booster box as well for newcomers. Play booster box only for newcomers. Entity tracker again. <sighs> These are really weak sample packs. There we go. Here's the collector booster box that I'm giving away. Sponsored to me by Games Island. They sent me this one for free. So I'm giving it to you guys. And the play booster box that I'm also giving to you for newcomers. So, claim as many coins as you can. 
from each video that's still coming until the giveaway. The giveaway is gonna happen on 10th October. And Simone, damn. They're disappointing, disappointing sample packs. We need the Meat Massacre. Um, yeah, claim as many coins as you can and opt into the giveaway via the link in the description. Valgavov, Horror of Souls. Same Valgavov as for the precon, so also worth nothing. I'll explain you a little bit in the summary at the end of the video how to participate in the giveaway. And check out Games Island through the link in the description. There's an affiliate link. Would really appreciate you guys checking it out. If you consider buying some magic, uh, consider buying it there. Walls of Rage. I don't know if this is worth anything. I don't think so. That helps me out with the big with giveaways. If you would click that affiliate link. Check it out for sure. Alright. Come on, roller crusher! Right, there we go. At least something. Maybe we even above 10 bucks now. I got demonic council, alright, that's also a few bucks. Thirty-six packs, and we don't really get anything. Bloomboro was way better. We got uh, balustrate warm, beautiful foiling on this one. I don't think that's worth anything, unfortunately, though. Demonic council and foil. All right, all right, a few bucks for this one as well. The pace is picking up a little bit, but can we turn it around here? I got a full art mythic room, dollmaker's shop, porclaim gallery, and I think this one should be also a few bucks. You guys will see the price and an uncommon paranormal border under the skin. There's not many uncommon cards with this border showcase, showcase border treatment, whatever you call it. All right, I'll try always to open these packs carefully because I use these booster packs for packaging when I sell cards. Got Simone again, sure. Midnight Mayhem. Come on. One good card. I just want one good card. Pier Pasta Veil. Uh, this Pier Pasta Veil is haunting me. I got so many of those. Ghost Vacuum again. I think that's the first card that we pulled here. I got the hang of opening them. Uh, destroyed this one. Pier Pasta Veil again. Look at this. How many? Of those can I pull? Come on guys, if I pull another Pier Pass the Veil, you get twice as many coins from this video. Abhorrent Oculus! There we go. A mythic borderless card. I don't know how much this one is worth. I pulled this already the second time, but I really don't remember this card at all. Got the money council again. Alright, alright. Can we get another Pier Pass the Veil for double coins? The Jolly Balloon Man. In the double exposure showcase. These sample packs are weak. Bloomboro is way better. We got another full art room here. Roaring Furnace, Steaming Sauna, but this is a rare room, so these rare rooms are really like a few cents each. Nothing really worth mentioning. Uh, another double exposure, rip, spawn hunter. Alright, four packs left. Pia past the van, there you go. However many coins we have currently, we get twice as many. If we have zero, I don't think we have zero. We got a few cards at least. And the spawn weaver in double exposure foil. A central elevator, promising stairs, another rare room, and the last pack. Demonic Council again. Alright, not too bad. Alright, 
that was it really really weak pack so if you buy yourself a pre-con don't expect to pull anything worthwhile from these sample packs it seems like 36 packs and absolutely no i don't know if i got unlucky or if they remove all the mythics on purpose if they reduce the mythic count because the most valuable cards are probably mythics valgawolf mitook massacre i did get some mythics so it's not impossible to get them i guess so i would assume there's a chance to get the mitook massacre 2 or valgawolf but i didn't get lucky or the chances are quite low so yeah let's go to the summary i'll go over it we will see how much this one is in total and I'll show you and tell you about the giveaway as well. So see you in a second. All right, it looks like we got quite lucky there with the Abhorrent Oculus. Um, let's check out the Google Sheet. So here are all the cards that are worth above a euro. I put up all these cards on Card Market. And when I recorded the sample pack video it was two days ago, I think, um, Abhorrent Oculus wasn't exploding in value yet. Now um, you can see the graph here. It went up. Well, actually, you cannot tell here because the graph actually lags behind. But yeah, I already sold it. Look at this. Uh, I just put it up today. So either way, um, Apparent Oculus is um, going up in price. We can also check out this version here. You can see the chart uh, going up a little bit better. So yeah, this one is rising in price. And I got quite lucky that I only sold this card now and not two days ago. Either way, what I noticed otherwise is, look at this, we got four demonic consoles we got two ghost vacuums and obviously we got a bunch of pure pasta veils here uh, a lot of duplicates so it does seem like the pool of cards that you can pull from a sample pack is smaller than from other collector boosters like you get certain rares more often than others um, i think that's what it means here if i get so many uh, demonic consoles but not uh, me to massacre 2 for example or whatever let's check how many rares we can actually can i do that somehow quickly here uh, what are mo uh, more valuable rares that we didn't get uh, i can go here i can go here it does take a little bit to sort maybe i should have done that before bear with me guys bear with me i'll sort for rares most expensive search all right so we did not get any re uh, razor can needle heads um, we did not get any of these lands, so that's already, like, maybe you cannot get these lands. I don't know, if anybody of you got one of these lands in sample packs, let me know. Um, Unstoppable Slasher, Enduring, we got no Enduring anything, no Enduring cards. So I do think they might have took the lands out, took the Enduring out, Enduring cards, took the Ley Lines maybe out, we didn't get any of those. Um, and, yeah. It, maybe it is possible to get Razor King Needlehead. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't know why they would have pulled that one out, uh, or a Meetup Massacre too, unless they knew that it might be more valuable than other cards. But yeah, um, I don't know. Either way, um, the average was a little bit above two bucks, which is the same as with Bloomborough, but without this card, the average would be way lower, around a dollar, even less than a dollar, since we got thirty-four dollars with thirty-six packs, thirty-four euros. So, um, yeah, the average is, I think, lower. We can also check the median. Maybe the median is a little bit more telling because that's what you can probably, I'll quickly sort here. Uh, that's maybe what you can expect if you open one of these packs, the median value, not the average. Uh, so we have 44, 40, so at around 24. So the median is 40 cents. <laughs> that's what you can expect from, um, from one of these sample packs, 40 cents worth of value. Let's go back here. Either way, I think this video, uh, video was quite fun. I liked it a lot. Um, so if you um, yeah, liked this well, subscribe to the channel. Um, I will be doing a giveaway. Let me quickly show you guys how to participate in that giveaway. Um, just go to my latest video that I uploaded or under this video's description. There will be a link. Click this link, the uh, lowest link here. And by, before you click the link, click the link, the affiliate link to Games Island, sponsor of this channel. Just click this link, you get to Games Island, and then uh, you're saved in the cookies, and then you can uh, scroll uh, scroll some magic cards, UBO cards, Pokemon cards, any other card in game. Uh, check out Games Island for sure. Um, it would help me out in the giveaways, for bigger giveaways in the future, if I get a bunch of affiliate hits there. 
But yeah, if you want to participate in the giveaway, click this link, you get to this page to my Google form. And in here, just enter your username, TCG Lab, I'll do it a little bit shorter. Uh, enter your full username though, please, and type it correctly, open names. Let's do it like this, to give a good example. And um, yeah, click the last point here. I know everything and just want to send my username. Click next, and then you can copy this link if you want to verify that you did everything correct and press send. And that's it. And you're opted in to the giveaway. You can double check the in the copied link that I just copied. If you are here or not, TCG Love openings, there we go. Um, I am in the giveaway right now. I am participating. And that's it. You need 100 coins to um, be participating in the Collector Booster Box giveaway. So, I don't know where it is. There it is. Uh, so, for this giveaway, you need at least 100 uh, coins. But for this giveaway, I'm still not sure exactly how I do it. I'm doing it the first time. So, I'm not sure how many coins average newcomers will have. So, I'll orient myself on that. But any newcomer to Duskmorn is participating in that Play Booster Box giveaway if you opt in through this Google form. Alright, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment to claim the 40 points. Not too bad, not too shabby. And see you next time. Peace out, guys. Like it's pride